Isotope RX Spectral Editor is an industry standard tool for audio repair and enhancement. With new ARA2 support in Pro Tools, you can leverage the Spectral Editor significantly faster and easier to fix problematic sounds in your session without having to round trip audio. RX Spectral Editor is included with Pro Tools Artist, Studio, and Ultimate active subscriptions and perpetual upgrade plans. Spectral editing is a process that enables audio engineers and producers to visually identify, isolate, and manipulate specific parts of an audio signal within the frequency spectrum to intelligently remove undesired sounds from a file with natural sounding results. This is achieved using a spectrogram, which is a visual representation of the sound where time is displayed on the horizontal axis, frequency on the vertical axis, and the intensity of frequencies is shown through color or brightness. In this example, some dialogue has been recorded with a screeching noise in the background. Hey kid, where are you headed? You know it's the end of the world, right? We'll try to remove this using the RX Spectral Editor. Start by selecting the audio clip and right click to bring up the drop down menu. Now select the RX Spectral Editor option. The clip will be analyzed and open in the tabbed RX Editor window. If you prefer to work with the Spectral Editor in a separate resizable window, Click the Detach icon in the tab name. The problem sound is clearly visible in the spectral display here. To remove it, simply choose one of the familiar selection tools on the top bar of the screen. You can use the paintbrush tool to draw over the area you want to select. The lasso allows you to draw around the area. The magic wand auto selects the specific area you click on. With any selection tool, you can hold down Shift to make multiple selections. Once the selection is made, there are two main repair options. Attenuate looks at the surrounding material and how loud it is, and blends in the selection in terms of level, so it disappears into the background. Replace will take the surrounding material and replace the selection with that surrounding material. These are two different processes, and depending on the content, one might be better than the other. We'll try attenuate and see how that sounds. This mode removes sounds by comparing content inside of the selection with content outside of the selection. For example, attenuate can be used to bring noises like door slams or chair squeaks down to a level where they are inaudible and blend into the background noise. You can adjust the strength of the process with the strength slider. The region slider will change the size of the surrounding region that the editor is looking to attenuate the noise to. The weighting control gives more weight to the audio before or after the selection, so moving the slider to the left will give more weight to the audio before the selection to be used in interpolation. The direction selection tools decide if the editor looks on the horizontal, vertical, or in all directions. Let's listen to the result. Hey kid, where are you headed? You know it's the end of the world, right? You can hear that the screeching sound has almost disappeared. To AB the sound with and without processing, you can bypass RX from the right click menu on the clip. Now let's try the same process but using replace. Hey kid, where are you headed? You know it's the end of the world, right? Yeah. You can hear the different effect this has. The other noise reduction tools contained within the spectral editor are gain mode for turning up or down a selected area. D-click, which you can use to remove a variety of short impulse noises, such as clicks caused by digital errors, mouth noises, and interference from cell phones. D-hum instantly removes any amount of hum, wireless ring, or interference without any artifacts or affecting the audio quality. The Spectral Editor has multiple levels of undo, which are independent of the Pro Tools levels of undo. This means you can revisit edits you have made later in the production process and refine them. One of the advantages of ARA integration is that you can keep your audio adjustments running in real time in your session, so you can go back and make changes later. RX Spectral Editor has its own undo history and can help roll back changes. Alternatively, you might decide to render the ARA plugin to save on CPU resources for session portability or to perform additional ARA or elastic audio processing. You have two options here. To render a range of your track, select the process clips, then right click and choose render from the ARA submenu. This will render the selection as new clips, but keep the ARA plugin on your track. If you want to render the entire track, click the tracks ARA plugin selector 
and choose None or a different plugin. Pro Tools will give you the choice to commit all active ARA processing on the track or revert all clips to their original state. Whether it's for music, film, television or podcasting, ARA2 integration allows you to spectral edit audio directly in the Pro Tools timeline to remove clicks, hum and noise and to replace, attenuate or amplify specific frequencies.